morning. So we will be continuing our discussion about frequency distribution. Okay. So our last problem is our example is that uh, construct a frequency distribution for the given 50 students in a class. Uh, the scores are given uh, below. So step one, so we arrange the data from lowest to highest. So I had suggested this to be uh, disregarded because in the under step two, so you should identify the lowest and the highest values. So using the formula for the class interval, which is highest value minus the lowest value divided by uh, one plus 3.3 to two, logarithm of n where n is the total number of data okay so based on the given datas we had uh, determined that 77 is the highest value and 12 is the lowest value okay so substituting those values in the class interval formula we have 77 minus 12 divided by 1 plus 3.322 logarithm of 50. 50 because we had 50 uh, raw data or 50 students. Okay, so the class interval is 9.7833 based on your calculator. So we are going to round it uh, up. Okay, as mentioned uh, from the previous discussion okay so if we had an answer of 9.01 we will round it up by 10 so if we had a class interval of 8.05 so we will consider it as class interval of 9 okay so create the frequency distribution table starting with the lowest value so i'll just show you the <coughs> Previous discussion. So we had a class interval of uh, 10, right? So we will start it with the lowest value of 12, okay? So that is starting from 12, okay? So counting from 12, so 12, 13, 14, then 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. That is the 10th interval. So we will be having this first column as 12 to 21. Then another interval that starts with 22 to 31 and 32 to 41, 42 to 51 and so on. Until we had the highest value from 72 to 81. Okay, we will stop from there. Okay, because 72 to 81 uh, that uh, includes the highest value of 77. I have told you to tally okay, in order for you to uh, minimize mistakes. So from this table, like for example, from the given data, we had 23 and 23 falls in the interval of 12 to, uh, 22 to 31. Okay, so let's summarize it okay so we have these values so counting those tallies we have this uh, column this column is called frequency okay so that is based from the tally this is 3 4 7 and 13 13 7 and 3 so adding these uh, frequencies you will get the total number of data which is 50 that is based from the 50 students okay then i have given you the from another frequency of cumulative frequency it's the this rev is reference from this uh, column from the frequency column so we had a three okay on the next column we had three and then <coughs> plus four so we had seven and then seven plus seven we had 14 14 plus 13 is 27 then 27 plus 13 will be 40 and so on until 
we should add a total number of data which is equivalent to 50 okay another frequency will be uh, relative frequency okay relative frequency okay so what is relative frequency okay. so relative frequency of each class is the proportion of the data that falls in that class in that it can be calculated for data set of n sides by our formula for relative frequency is simply class frequency divided by the sample size common mathematical so that is the frequency all over n okay so for example we have this uh, Fre relative frequency for the first column the frequency is 3 so based on my calculator i just use the calculator here okay so f all over n where n is the total number of data okay so for this pro example there are 50 students so n is equivalent to 50 so we had f for this day class interval which is 3 okay so that is 3 divided by uh, okay so that is 3 divided by 50 equals 0 0.06 so I'll just put it here 0 0.06 okay how about in the next column so that is 7 divided by n which is 50 so 0 0.14 0 0.14 okay and then oops this is not 0 0.14 okay so it should be <coughs> it should be 4 all over 50 so we are referring on the frequency okay not the cumulative frequency so it should be 4 divided by 50 is equivalent to 0 0.08 okay and then here we have frequency of 7 7 all over 50 so we'll have 7 divided by 50 okay then goes 0 0.14 okay then 13 so this is 13 divided by 50 so 0 0.26 0 0.26 and then so this is also 13 so it should be 0 0.26 then 7 which is 0 0.14 again and then 3 will be 0 0.06 okay so now if you're going to total this uh, relative frequency it should be equal to 1 so that is 0 0.06 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.14 uh, plus 0 0.26 plus 0 0.26 again plus 0 0.14 plus 0 0.06 okay so the total of the relative frequency when they are you sum this up <coughs> okay should be equal to one okay now uh, moving forward okay so the x will be uh, class mark class mark is denoted as x in the frequency distribution table so class mark is simply the midpoint so class mark x okay is equivalent to upper limit plus lower limit divided by two okay so for example returning or going back to the frequency distribution distribution table so this will be uh, about this class mark x okay and this denoted as oops, class mark x okay there it goes so now class mark will be equal to upper limit plus lower limit 
and then divide it by 2. So we have a class interval of 12 and 21. Okay, this is the lower limit 12 and the upper limit is 21. So using the calculator, okay, so that is 12 or upper limit is 21 plus 12. Okay, you then divide it by 2. Okay, so that is 16.5. So we'll be putting here 16.5. Okay. So these are 16.5. Okay. So it goes. Okay. How about this one? 22.31. Okay. So 31 plus 22. Okay. Divided by 2. So 26.5. 26.5. Okay, now for this one 32 and 41, so 32 and 41, then divide it by 2, so 36.5. Okay, as you can see there is a pattern 16, 26, 36.5, so it should be 46.5. Let us double check if this is 46.5, so 42 plus 51. Okay, divided by 2 so it should be 46.5 so assume this is 56.5 66.5 and 6 uh, 76.5 okay so class mark is denoted as x okay next will be uh, class boundaries okay so class boundaries is based from the class interval so class boundaries there's a lower boundary and the upper boundary so uh, just like in the class interval we have the lower limit upper limit okay same class boundaries since the uh, lower limit is 12 so the lower boundary is 11.5 okay and for the for the upper li uh, boundary so upper limit is 21 so this should be 21.5 okay. okay so again so referring to the same column this is 22 so it should be 21.5 <coughs> okay now uh, the upper in limit is 31, so it should be 31.5. Okay, now this is 32, so it should be 31.5. This is 41, so this is 41.5. So, as you can see, there is also a pattern. So, 41.5, so 41.5 to 51.5. Okay, so this is 51.5. 61.5 then 61.5 71.5 then 71.5 to negative 1.5 so those are the class boundaries okay so you may want to go to the uh, measures of central limit tendency you may want to read this module okay so this is a PDF format of your uh, lecture or module for this week, okay?